So most of you have already completed the challenges or including the skill badges, completion badges in the Jura GCP. Now you need a guide how to do the submission of the profile. So we'll talk about the submission guide. But before we start, make sure to subscribe the channel. And if you don't know, I've shared this playlist about all the steps, how to claim the credits, how to just complete the challenges, your solution guides. Okay, the solution guide is here. You can just see all the solutions for all the courses which are listed over here is present over there. So you can complete all the skill badges very easily. Okay. Now coming to the direct topic over here. So how you can just do the submission. First of all, you must have received this email along after you register you must have received this email in case you haven't received it you can just check the description i've shared the form link also now from here you can see this form link you have to click on it and you'll be redirected to a new form section now here read some important things okay you have to read all the important things for easy of understanding i'm just translating it to english so they are saying the timeline for the participation of completing the challenges is that you should be completing all the challenges from 15th of January till 15th of uh, February. Okay, January to 15th of February. You have to complete all the challenges, including all the milestones, which are listed over here. If you clearly see, these are the milestones. Okay, so you can see these are the milestones. If you have completed all these milestones, right? Then only you'll be able to get the swags. You can see these are the tires. If you are completing all these things, then only fill the form. Otherwise, just complete it and fill the form later on. This video I have made for making you aware of the process. So here, let's come over here and see that. Wait a second. Here only. So deadline I have already shared. Now here, completion batch. For each completion batch, which are completion batch, let me just show you. For each completion batch, you get one point and for each skill badges you do, for each skill badges you do, you are getting mostly three points. So total four points depending on how much you do and the top uh, 1250 participants will be getting the swag form with a better package. For example, they'll be getting the cool swags including the Samsung Galaxy Fit. You can clearly see these kind of swags and earbuds. So you can maximize your chances. Just try to beat the scores and earn more points. Now coming over here to how to fill the form. Okay, first of all, you have to share the email address in which you have received the registration link, including credits also. So you have to enter that email only. Do not enter any other email. Means you have used the email for the registration process. After that, you have to enter your first name, last name. Okay, and then you have to select your gender. And then you have to select uh, your role. Uh, there is no issue, you can select anyone. And your job title, if you are a student, you can type NA. And if you are having a, suppose if you are having a company or you are a freelancer, you can mention your job title or company name for which you are working. If you are working for your own company, you can mention over here. If you're studying in any other college, institute, you can mention over here. And if you provide the email of theirs, then it will be better. If you don't have an email, you can just mention your email directly. Now swag shipping address. Here you have to share the address, okay? And one more important thing, make sure to add all the details. They have given a sample example, fill the address accordingly. And one more important thing, you need to understand that only the top 1,250 participants who are living in Indonesia and submit the form will be receiving the swags. So if you're from India, Australia or any other country, you are not eligible for the swags. For learning purpose, you can join the program. But if you want only swags, why not join the arcade program, which is currently live? If I just show you in the channel, the arcade cohort 2 is currently live. If you just come to the channel and here you can see I've shared the video also. Let me just show you. Here is the complete playlist guide. I will link it. Do not worry about it. You can participate and learn about the event too. Okay. So here is our complete playlist guide. So let me just open it here. How to register all the things are shared over here. I'll link the video for ease of access. You can easily participate in the event. Now let me just show you the next process. You have to mention the city where you reside and then province. Okay. Where you live, whether you live in West Java, Jambi or maybe Lampung. You have to select accordingly and then just add the postal code and the mobile number. Now here is the most important part. You have to share your skills boost profile and developer profile. So how to see? First of all, you need to sign into the cloud skills boost profile. Then you have to go to the settings option from here. 
just scroll down and find your public profile over here i hope you have enabled it public means you have made the profile public so that you are able to just see this url if you are unable to see this url just click on this checkbox and update the settings now right click over here and just copy the link address come over here and just paste over here like this so our profile is updated now we have to add a google uh, developer profile for that you have to click on the profile URL and just sign in to the Google developers here it may ask to just allow your allow something permissions etc okay now simply click over here and just here you'll find the profile so here you can see this is your public profile first of all you need to make it public so go to the settings go to the change settings and from here only you have to just make it public and then your profile will be automatically public over here so how you need to see you can just set a config uh, custom address okay so here let me just add a custom address and after that just save it so here this is our uh, public address for the developer profile so here let me just come over here and go to the my profile settings and it's being updated over here so here it's still not updated i think so so let me just add it again just save it so okay it's not showing then just type anything else and just save it So if it is not working, then also try to do add some more text. So do not worry if you're still facing issue, just come to the profile directly. And from here only you'll see the URL if it is not showing. See, I think it got updated. You have to copy from here directly. Okay, you have to copy it from here and just paste over here like this. And simply go to the next option. Wait a second. I think I opened the wrong form. Okay, so this is the thing you have to paste your profile over here. So you have to paste your profile over here, right? This you have done. Now let me just do a sample demo also over here so that it's become easy to submit. Now for email, I'm just selecting this email, first name. Just selecting all the things. I'm just giving a sample example. All the things are correct. Now you can just mention the correct address. I'm just showing sample example because I don't reside in the Indonesia. That's why I'm just using the sample example over here. You have to enter correct details. Okay, you have to enter correct details. Do not copy paste blindly. Just enter your postal address. Similarly, do with the phone number two. And all things are correct. We have already pasted the profile link and this. So here they are saying it must contain the URL developer slash profile url so if you are facing this issue just copy this url directly and just paste it over here okay now just click on next it's asking for city so i missed the city let me just add the city to all the things are correct now let's come down click on next and just do everything five 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 five, five. Just rate it. Okay, once all these things, you have to share your experience, how it you liked. Just add, it was awesome. What aspects of Jira's SAP can be improved? Shipping swags globally. And what? topic just select anyone of your interest and then just click on next okay 
now here you have to share a social media post on the linkedin twitter whatever you use on your country you have to share the social media post link okay just post about your experience and just tell about yourself you have to introduce yourself like what you are you are a student you learn about gcp you learn about data ml whatever you have learned and why you have joined the program after that you have to select anything why you join the program just select anything over here and how you plan to apply so basically these are sample things you have to write anything there is no requirement that if you write wrong response your swags won't be delivered to you you can just write whatever applied college and means knowledge you have learned and skills you have gained with completing the challenges and how you can use it for future okay all these things you have done and if you are using any other product like OpenAI, ChatGPT, MetaAI, Microsoft Azure, you can mention over here and just do at the last and just select anything over here. Okay, just click on off and then simply submit it. So this is how we have to submit the form. If you still have any doubts, you can let me in the comment section. Thank you. Have a great day.